Central York ready, willing, and able to take on the Goliaths of 6A football. St. Joe's prep with the ball first, drives down the field, but the Panther defense stops him, forcing a field goal for an early 3-0 Hawks lead. Panthers come back with some plays. Bo Perbula to Taylor Wright Rawls. He's got it behind the defense. 36 yards, but a drive that led to nowhere. Second quarter, St. Joe starts to establish things. Kyle McCord to Marvin Harrison Jr. It's 17-0 Hawks. Central comes right back with a drive, though. It'll be Perbula looking for a receiver and then getting picked off by St. Joe's, stopping the Panther drive. And then just one play after that, it's McCord to Harrison again. And bingo, it's 24-0 St. Joe's prep second quarter. The Panthers come back with their first good drive of the game. Pribula to Jamar Simpson. He scoots in from the 10 for the first points of the game for the Panthers. It's 24-7. But St. Joe's comes right back with two more touchdown passes. McCord letting it fly. Malik Cooper working some magic here. They had another one just before halftime to take a 38-7 lead over Central York into the break. The Panthers never recover from that first half onslaught as St. Joseph showed why they're a nationally ranked team as they three-peat as 6A champions with a 62-13 win, leaving Central York disappointed but certainly not down about what they've accomplished this season. The year they had, you can't just tie it all into tonight. We got beat by a superior football team. We didn't play well either. Uh, it's no excuse. I mean, we, we got beat by the, the better team. Uh, like the fight and the grit because I our guys thought they'd win this football game. Yeah, it's a tough one to swallow. Um, you know, it's a ball game a little bit in the first half, um, but you know, it took a little bit of a landslide at the end that kind of took the wind out of our sails. Um, you know, but I thought we fought hard through the whole game. Perbula played most of the way with an injured foot, something he suffered early in this ball game. And you know, even though this was a devastating loss for the Panthers on the scoreboard, it shouldn't take away from the fact that they became the first York County team to get to a state final, a 10-1 finish, the best ever in Central York or York County football history.